It's time? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so uh, thank you for coming. Uh, today I'm going to try to summarize in 20 minutes uh, one year in QA, LibreOffice QA. Uh, when I thought about this presentation, I, I thought about a couple of things I could talk about. But in this presentation, I'm going to focus on um, Bugzilla, which is the, the bug tracker we use and basically the, the main tool we use in QA. So about me, <coughs> I'm uh, the QA engineer at the Document Foundation since uh, September 2016. I'm based in Valencia, Spain, and that's my email and my nickname in IRC or Telegram. So, in this talk, I'm going to focus on three main topics. The first one is uh, uh, new reports uh, we got in Baxilla during this year. Then, second topic, uh, uh, tickets uh, tria triage during this time. It doesn't mean uh, those tickets were reported during this year, but it probably are Sometimes they were reported before, but they were uh, triaged within the, this year. And then also I'm going to talk about uh, those tickets uh, closed during the, the last year. So uh, the frame of time I cover, it's uh, from last uh, FOSDEM, well, a, bit, a couple of days before. So it's from uh, February 1st and then up to... Uh, this week on Thursday. Uh, I based this uh, talk on a couple of uh, blog posts I did in the past during this year where I talk and I sh share some uh, statistics in Baxilla and I also did a similar talk in, in the LibreOffice conference in Rome but uh, in this one I'm also adding some more information I didn't use in this uh, blog post or, the, or this talk in the past. And for, in order to, to get the, the, the data, I use a script that it's here, you can use it or even improve it. And um, yeah, I just add the script to gather all the, all the data. And well, this is the general uh, view. This is from, from today, I took the screenshot today. Uh, this is Baxilla, the uh, LibreOffice Baxilla right now. We have uh, uh, 56,000, uh, yeah, almost uh, 57,000 uh, bugs reported in, in general. So it's difficult to kind of uh, summarize uh, Baxilla one year uh, in a presentation. So I'm going to use a lot of uh, charts, a lot of pipe, pipe charts. Maybe it's not the best one, but uh, I don't really know how to sometimes present this kind of information. So I hope you kind of understand it. So <clears throat> first I'm going to talk about the, about the new reported tickets. Uh, well, we have to uh, do two categories in the reported tickets. From, on, on the one hand, we have the bugs, and on the other one, we have the enhancements. So in general, during this year, a uh, little more than uh, 7,000 uh, tickets were reported in Baxilla. And from those, uh, well, almost 1,000 were enhancements and the rest were, uh, were bugs. And uh, it was done by uh, 2,800 uh, people. And here you have the top, top 10 uh, users or people uh, reporting uh, tickets, and we have Telesto, the, the first one, who has reported uh, 355, and then Jay. So yeah, <coughs> uh, this is uh, how many reports we get every week, and uh, the red one. Those are the bugs, and in here, those are the enhancements. And as we can see, most of the time the enhancements are 
every week they are similar. We have the, the, the similar uh, number of uh, uh, reports. But then, uh, talking about bugs, well, it depends on the week. We have... Like release a new version, but I match the, the the releases and it's not the case. So so far I couldn't find any way any reason why we we get more we got more reports this week. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, in total we get around 135 reports. And for, for, uh, from those, uh, around 117 are bug reports, in average. And this is the same chart, but uh, split by, by month. So uh, we got, in average, around uh, six, 600 new reports every month. And from those, around 80 are enhancements. Yeah, then uh, about the current status of those uh, uh, reports we got during this year, we see that if we look at the general picture here, we see that right now 33% uh, of, of those are still open. But then if we split the chart uh, between enhancements and bugs, we see that uh, 66 of uh, uh, 56 uh, percent of the enhancements are still new, uh, while 30 percent of the bugs are uh, still new. So it's important to differentiate bet between enhancements, which most of the times are nice to have features, and bugs, which is, uh, from my point of, of view, uh, things that we have to focus more although enhancements are important as well. Uh, and here we see the components uh, we get for each report. So right there in both cases is the, the component we, we get more reports for. But then uh, talking about enhancements, we see that the second one it's about LibreOffice in general, uh, while here the, the second one is Calc. And then we also see here that Android, we, got, we, we get like 8%, while in here we don't get much, which is uh, kind of expected because uh, Android is under development now, so people just want to have more features there. But probably that also means that we should at some point, focus more on Android uh, enhancements because uh, people, is, people are asking for that. Okay. No, that's everything. But uh, yeah, it's not there. Yeah, maybe it's... Because online is a separate product in Baxilla. Okay, so yeah, then it's only LibreOffice, the product. Okay. Yeah, uh, probably, yeah. And then this is about uh, the version of those reports. This is not really accurate because uh, if someone reports a bug saying it's happening in the sixth branch in the, the release this week, it doesn't mean this bug is coming from that version. Maybe that bug was there from the beginning. But yeah, we see that during this year, which is kind of expected, uh, most of the bugs were reported against uh, version five or the, the, the branch, the, the interior branch. But it's also significant that we are still getting some uh, inherit from open office or even three uh, LibreOffice 3 uh, bugs. 
Then uh, about those uh, tickets triage during during this year. Oh, okay. So it should be it should fit here. Uh, well, here we see the number of unconfirmed bugs per week. So we see that the number of uh, unconfirms uh, is kind of uh, flat, but then at some point we have some peaks where the number of unconfirmed bugs are going up. And I think at this point we had the LibreOffice conference, so no one was uh, triaging bugs. So that's the reason we, we have more unconfirmed bugs there. Ideally, we should have this to zero or at least try to, because then uh, the less we have, the, the faster we can triage, triage uh, bugs. But yeah, right now, like last year, it was around uh, five, uh, 476, and right now it's about 410. So we are kind of uh, going that way, although it's going to, it's long process. And here, well, we see, uh, when a bug is confirmed, it means it, go, it goes from unconfirmed to something, in, something else. So it might be need info or new or resolve, uh, duplicate. So it's a, every status different than uh, unconfirmed. So during this uh, time, uh, 5,600 5, uh, uh, tickets were confirmed from those uh, around 800 were en enhancements and the rest were bugs. And this uh, triaging was done by 240 people. Uh, see, uh, here we see the top 10. And right now, this is the, the status of those uh, uh, triage bugs or triage tickets. We see that if we look at the whole uh, picture, we see that 45% are still new, but then if we split it, then we see that 71% of, uh, of uh, the enhancements are still new, while uh, the bugs, 40% uh, are new. It doesn't mean, because we are counting like even bugs reported last week or last month, so it's really difficult to, to get a bug fixed uh, reported this week and fixed within a week. A, a week. So that's the reason we have uh, uh, the number of uh, bugs in new status uh, at 40%. So probably if we could take another range, if we, if we took another range of uh, a frame of time, like uh, last year, probably the number were, uh, would be less. And here, uh, in this chart, I'm... Uh, measuring the, the, the timing uh, in order to triage those bugs. So we see that in 52% uh, uh, of the tickets, they are triaging one day. And then within a month, we have like 80% of the, of the tickets uh, triage. And then, well, there are always some tickets which... Uh, take longer or there's no way to reproduce them. So we, like, we have like less than 1%, which are uh, more than three years in uh, unconfirmed status. But then, yeah, it's important to, to know that uh, within a month, we, we cover like 80, 80% of the, 85% of the bugs. And then again, the version, uh, well, kind of expected that most of the triage bugs, bugs are uh, in uh, LibreOffice 5. Probably if we do the same next year, it's going to be LibreOffice 6, but we also have 15% uh, uh, of, the, of the bugs already in, uh, in LibreOffice 6. And then uh, an important part of the triaging it's also tagging uh, the bugs, and well, um, uh, an important one I, I, I wanted to, to remark is uh, tagging bugs are regression. Uh, so we have, uh, during this time, uh, around 1,000 bugs were tagged as regression by 78 people. 
And this is the, the chart uh, over the time. We see that the open regression is kind of flat, although it's uh, slightly uh, going up. But then the number of total regressions uh, in Baxilla is uh, it's growing uh, faster. But the, the, the one we have to care about is this one. So, so far, it's, it's flat. Ideally, it should go down. But as long as it's going fast or, or like this, it's, it's good. And then, well, another uh, important uh, task in uh, triaging back is to bisect them. So we have uh, around this time, uh, we have uh, around uh, 650 bucks uh, tag as bisect. Uh, it was done by 20 people. And it's kind of the same. We see that the number of uh, bisected bugs are uh, the open ones are kind of flat, and then the number of uh, bisected in general is uh, growing faster. And yeah, we have another, this uh, keyword, it's also important to, to when the, the application is crashing or to when there is a, a hand in, in the application. So it was done on uh, 258 bucks and uh, sorry, I, that's a mistake there. And it was done by 15 people. And then here we see that the status of this uh, bug, so when, you, when a bug is stuck as regression, 36% uh, of them are still new. But then if, we use, if the bug is bisected, uh, around 30% are new. And then if we add the uh, half bug trace, well, if, if we have a bug trace, then is uh, even lower. So it means that the, the more we can provide to the, to the developers, the, 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 the well, it, it's, it's going to redu reduce the number of uh, open bugs. And here is the, the time comparison. So we see that within a month, the tag, uh, regression tag is at for 85% uh, of the cases, and the same for bisected and have a bug trace. And well, this is the the version of this uh, of of each uh, keyword. And now, uh, f well, I'm going to talk about the closed tickets. So, in general, closed tickets are those who are moved to resolve, verify, of clo or closed. And here is the uh, top ten people doing that. And uh, well, we have uh, around uh, 536 people who has done that, and well, um, so we see that uh, if we focus on, on bugs, we see that 22% 20, of them were resolved as, as fixed, 22% uh, were resolved as duplicated, and then uh, insufficient data, which means uh, the bug was uh, moved to need info, then we didn't have any feedback from the user, so in, in the end we closed it as uh, insufficient data, and here I don't see it, uh, like 20% it's work for me, which means uh, the bug uh, was reported at some point and then the user tried it again with a newer version and then it was fixed. So this is the chart for the bugs uh, close uh, every week, and we see some peaks here. That's because uh, that week we move all these uh, need info bugs to insufficient data. So that's the reason we have uh, those peaks there. And this is uh, every month. And well, if we focus on those which are fixed, then we see that uh, 1,866 were moved to resolve fix. Here we have the top 10, and uh, it was done by 152 people. And if we focus on those which are duplicated, it was done by uh, 125, and here is the top five. So we, we here see a profile which is developer, and in here we see uh, QA people. And the time comparison, we see that, uh, well, no, so, so let's focus on resolve fix. We see that. Uh, in 9% of the cases, they are closed within a day. 
and then around 40% of the cases, they are closed within a month. And yeah, within a year, it's around 70% of the cases. And on the other hand, we have the resolved duplicated, which normally are closed as duplicated within the first day. And then around 60% of the cases, or 75, 65, are closed uh, within a month. So, oh. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> Sorry, but uh, yeah, I, I didn't know like how to process all this information, but maybe it was too much for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>